I've received a lot of requests for more Silhouette Cameo tutorials, so I'm going to try to do a series as I do my project live. Um, so the first thing I do is I open Studio, uh, Silhouette Studio. After that, I click on this little icon that says Show Library. And that goes into my library. So my papers, I always put into the My Patterns section. That's very important because you want these pattern papers to be able to fill your elements and to work in this section of your silhouette, which is the Fill Pattern section. So it's very important that any of your papers you put in the My Patterns section. So the website that I like to use is jessicasprague.com under the Digital Shop and Digital Kits. Okay, so when you click on Digital Kits, it'll show you the newest to the oldest that they have on their website. Um, I think both of the ones that I want are with Echo Park. Um, one is the winter time, and there's another one as well. I think it starts with winter as well. Here it is, winter wishes. Here it is. Okay, so there's several different ones. This is a new company here called Cartabella, and um, that one I might get later. We'll see. Um, I really like this one here, the Winter Wishes Full Collection. I love the penguins. So this is the one I want to get. Now you can buy just the digital papers if you want or just the digital elements. They come in individual packets uh, for a lower price. But I'm going to go ahead and get the full collection because I want all the elements and all the papers. You'll see it includes 28 papers, 108 elements, three different sets of alphabets, and two different sets of numbers. So there's a huge variety and I'll be able to use these all winter over and over again. So right now they're having a sale, I think through January 1st, so it's only $7.99 and I'm going to click Add to Cart. Okay, so that one is in my cart. All right, so once it's in my cart, I proceed to checkout. And I'll finish checking out and then I will come back. One moment. Okay, so now I um, paid for the collection and then it'll take you back to the screen and you'll click on the details. And you'll see it says the maximum number of downloads for each file is 15. Download until 30 days after the first download. So you want to make sure after you've downloaded these that you've saved them and you've backed them up somewhere because you only have 30 days. Um, of course, you can back it up. You can download it up to 15 times, but within that 30 days. So make sure you have this backed up somewhere. So I'm going to click on Winter Wishes Full Collection. Okay, so after you've done that, you'll see that it has the zip file found right here. And then it has it in several different folders. So here is all the elements. Here's the license information. Alphas, borders, and more elements. Papers. And more papers. So if you had bought the individual $2 packages, you would have gotten one of each of these. But since this is the full kit, you're going to get all four inside of it. 
So everything you see on this screen right here, these are four separate packages. This is what you've got in the full collection. So there's two paper packs and two packages of elements. Okay, so now what do you do with these? I have a folder on my computer called Silhouette. So I'm going to create a new folder. I start by calling it the name of the paper line and then uh, the company and then the name of the paper line itself. Okay, so after I've saved everything into onto my computer, I'll have four separate folders here. Um, it's the elements package one, elements package two, paper packs one, and paper packs two. So I like to start with my papers, which is this one right here. And I, in my Silhouette Studio, under my patterns, it's very important that this is where the papers are saved. So I make another folder called Echo Park Winter Wishes. And on my computer, I do better by selecting one by one and dragging and dropping. You may be able to highlight all of yours and drop them in all at once. Mine tends to pull up a little error message on me. So I'll do one at a time, take it all the way over to the white screen, click one time, and there it is. Now you'll see as soon as you drag it in there, if you scroll down, there's a new little section in my fill pattern that says Echo Park Winter Wishes, and there's that paper. So I'll continue to do this for the rest of my papers as well. Okay, so after I've added all my papers into this section here, I look at the total and it says 28. So I go back to both of my folders and here in pack number one, there are 14 items. And in pack number two, there's 14 items. So that equals 28. So I know I haven't missed any of my papers. And now I have all 28 papers for the Echo Park Winter Wishes saved inside of my patterns on my silhouette. Now, I save my elements in a separate section. Because I like Echo Park, I've created its own folder within my library. Then, I name it by the individual papers. So this one is Fall Fever, then I have this and that Graceful, and then I put Winter Wishes. Under each one of those, I have categories for alphabets, borders, cards and tags, and then everything else just stays under here. All the rest of the elements will be under the main folder. I just like to have these specific items separated out because I grab these um, very quickly and I may be using them for other projects as well so they're easy for me to find instead of having to sort through everything. So I'll go back into the Echo Park and now we're going to do the same thing for the elements. While you're doing this, you may find certain elements or papers that you know you're not going to use. So at this time, it's easy to just uh, skip over those that you don't want to use and only include in the library the ones that you know you will be using.
I decided for this one, it has so many phrases that I'm actually going to create a new folder under here just for all these little phrase tags. Okay, so in Elements Pack 2, it has some already pre-assorted for me as alphas, borders, and elements. That's it. This is my Winter Wishes collection. So here under the elements, you can see when you divide them out like this, it really helps you uh, be able to see what you have more easily so that you're able to work with them in the future. So here's all the cute little penguins. That's really why I bought this. I love the penguins and the owls. And then it has some little ice skates and then um, snowflakes, these cute little tabs. This kit is just perfect for winter project life. So I'm really looking forward to using it for that. The alphas section, it has the numbers in these big banners, but then it also has them, I'm sorry, my bird's going crazy. It also has them in these other formats that you can use as well. And I'll show you in my tutorials how you can divide those out. Next is the borders. This is perfect for project life because you can have your journalers and you can just print those right out and start journaling on them immediately. And then I have another section here called phrases, snow day, snow kissed, um, sparkle, winter, um, burr, <laughs> bundled up, lots of phrases. I love these. These are perfect again for project life because they have date. So, there's a lot of different um, phrases that you can use and layer these on top of your journaling cards. So it's a lot of fun. So that's how you put a pack, a digital pack into your Silhouette uh, Cameo. Again, I use it from jessicasprague.com. There's a lot of others. There's another one called Designer Digitals that I also use, and I'll show you that one soon. Thanks for watching.